Hey guys, Ryan House here, and welcome back to episode 3 of our Dwarf Fortress Let's Play series. And when we left off, we had pretty much outlined all of our fortress. I showed it off to you guys. But now we need to give our miners the time to go ahead and catch up with all the tasks that they have. So they're going to be doing that for most of this Let's Play. Also, I think I'm going to fit a... Uh, let's see here. What's it called? It is called... A crafts dwarf workshop right over here and we'll make that out of marble and then I think I'm gonna make another one over here and I think that they can make items out of wood up here uh, as well as stone but they'll probably be making items out of wood there so they're relatively close to the stairs and I think we can go ahead and fit a third additional workshop in for now so we have six workshops up and running so that should be good all right and then, let's see, how are our miners doing? They're relatively close. We can also go ahead and set up our stone stockpile here. Let's go ahead and do that. There's our stone stockpile. And we'll go ahead and remove designations for these locations, just like that. Alright, so, our stone stockpile is there. Oops. So that'll be getting carried out. Also, let's go downstairs and go ahead and remove this wood designation here. We no longer need it, and they can store the rest of it in the correct area. Now, let's see. Let's have them mine out this area right here yeah so have our dwarves wind that out and then also over here let me show you guys over here I'm not gonna actually do it right now but here we're gonna channel out like a uh, 3 by 3 area or maybe a uh, five by three area. It's uh, gonna be a moat, not a moat, but a, a depression in the ground there. Uh, we're gonna fill those up with water. I'm gonna have one here and one on the other side as well. So we can place our drawbridges. And uh, like I said, we're gonna fill them up with water. So we're actually gonna have a underground tunnel from here to there. And then that water spring we're gonna use to feed our farms. And then excess water that we use, I'm going to send uh, another, uh, what do you call it? We're going to route the water towards the waterfall, and we'll have it pump out into the waterfall there. Okay? So the excess water we can get rid of. Um, yeah, that should work just fine. And that way we can also flush it out in case we need to do any repairs or use uh, that kind of sewage system. Uh, in the future we can just flush the whole system out and get all the water out of the system okay we could also use it for traps so I haven't come up with a design for it just yet but um, we won't be able to use it for traps on this floor because there's no water above this floor but we could use it for traps uh, down below and uh, things like that. So all we need to do is have a pretty good lever room to control the flow of water. There is a lake up here, but it won't be able. We won't be able to replenish the lake until it rains. And if we drain the whole thing, I don't think it's going to catch any more water. We could also consider using like a pump system, but I'm not too familiar with that, but we can obviously, we can give it a try. In this fortress somewhere, I'm gonna have <clears throat> kind of like laboratory areas or where we uh, test out functions within the game. Uh, they might not have a specific purpose other than to figure out how pumps work or other to figure out how mining carts work, etc. Because I would like to have an automated mine cart system in this fortress so we'll have areas where we just test out uh, the basic mechanics for that okay 
And then once we have that knowledge, that's going to empower us in future Let's Plays. Where we can do things that are pretty cool. Alright, I think I need a craft dwarf, right? <clears throat> Needs stone, wood, stone, or bone working. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at our current dwarves. Okay, one of us is on break, the dude -ness. Let's see here. Okay, Travis, since you're not farming right now, <clears throat> let's go ahead and give you a job. And you can be uh, stone working, is it stone working, crafts. You could be wood and stone craft. I'll give you leather working, bone carving. Yeah, you can have all those crafts. Okay. So <clears throat> I know you have no skill at it, but you can build build up your skill as time goes on. <clears throat> Okay. And still we don't have anybody making charcoal. Hmm. It says profile requires manager. There, we went ahead and uh, set up Travis as our manager for now. Some migrants have arrived. Excellent. Fresh blood for the fortress. Indeed. Let's go ahead and give them a count. We have one, two, 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 two new dwarves. We have two new dwarves. Are you kidding me? I've never had such a small migration. A miner and a clothier. So we have two new dwarves. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take a small break here. I'll go ahead and name these two new dwarves. Alright, and then we'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. Here we are. We have Merp. Alright. Uh, 94 years old. Born on the 1st of Granite in the year 157. She is rarely sick. She is very slow to heal. She has a great feel for the surrounding space, a good feel for social relationships and a way with words, but she has an iffy memory. She is very fat. Her long, her very long hair is tied in a ponytail. She has a fairly deep and raspy voice, and she has high cheekbones. All right. Very cool. She is very comfortable in social situations and enjoys company with others. She absolutely detests worms. All right, so that's Merp, and then we have here, Kentucky. All right, he is 96 years old. He is married to Merp. Okay, so we have a husband and wife have arrived. He has a once thin frame, now belarded. He has very long sideburns, which are braided, and he has a very long mustache. It is neatly combed. He has a very long beard, which is arranged in double braids. All right, very cool. And he has a very good feel for social relationships and good creativity. But he has a questionable spatial sense with little natural inclination towards music and a very bad sense of empathy and a very bad intuition. He is slow to anger and self-conscious and he can handle stress. Alright. Very cool. What are some of the things that you like here? He absolutely detests brown recluse spiders. Okay. Alright. So, that's Kentucky. Welcome you two to the fortress. I'm sure that we'll have larger migrant waves in the future. <clears throat> Pretty small right now. Uh, and here's a peregrine falcon. Let's go ahead and check that out. A small bird of prey that is capable of great speed. And they dive on unsuspecting vermin. She is gigantic. Her feathers are brown. Her skin is brown. Her eyes are black. So very cool. There she is right there. Peregrine Falcon. Alright, so 
Two new migrants, one additional miner for the fortress. I hope you brought your pickaxe. Let's go ahead and check. There's Merp. Zoom to you. Let's check out your inventory. Yes. Indeed, you brought a copper pick. So that is good. You're, you've come well prepared. I asked you guys to bring your beards, your mining picks, and some dwarven battle armor, and some ale. So at least you brought the pick and your beards. Very good. Very good indeed. Alright, and then the clothier, actually, let's see. Let's go to Kentucky here. And let's check out your skills, okay? And like I said, um, I won't be using Dwarf Therapist during the recording. I tend to use Dwarf Therapist uh, after I'm done recording just to tidy up job skills, etc. Especially when we get a very large fortress as well. I, I use it all the time. Okay, fishing. No, we don't need you to fish. Farming related. Plant gathering and cheese making and shearing. Okay. Crafts, you say you are a clothes maker. We can have you working on leather, wood crafting, bone crafting, stuff like that as well. And we'll have you do hauling jobs and cleaning. Okay, so that's overall pretty good. And then let's go ahead and check Merp here. And you have, oh, you have the mining skill, hunting related skills, trapping, and small animal dissection. Okay, well we can keep you with those. Oh, okay, you also uh, feed patients and prisoners and the recovering wounded. That's very nice. Should probably have that on a lot of our dwarves. Okay. Okay. Overall, pretty good. I don't know if we need another miner, but actually that could make uh, pr the progress here on the fort go a little bit faster. So, you're welcome. Yep, very good. Alright, so let's check out everything, make sure everything's good here. Now we should have... Here we go. A craft dwarf workshop, okay. So we can make things out of wood. So yeah, let's make uh, several wooden crafts here. Let's make like five. That'll be good. And we'll get the other uh, workshop up and running in just a second. Also, uh, let's see here. Oh, does the wood furnace have to be outside, guys? Here, let me go ahead and check on the wiki, and we'll see if the wood furnace has to be outside. It might have to be outside, okay? Uh, okay, so uh, I missed this earlier. You have to have the wood burning uh, skill initiated. Okay, so I'm going to give this to Merp since uh, she just arrived. Uh, we'll give her the wood burning ability. There's also, like, lie making, things like that. Alright, so now that she has that skill enabled, uh, we can take mining off of her for now. So we get the wood burning going on, because we want to start creating a zinc product industry here at the fortress. Okay, so we want to make some metal items. Alright, so... Another thing we're going to do is build a, let's see here, we probably need a smelter, right? And that's going to be under furnace, smelter, here we go. So we'll have a smelter, we'll make that out of marble, and what ability is that going to need? Perhaps. Perhaps Merp can do that as well. Here, let's check out Merp. And that would be under metal smithing. Furnace operating. Perhaps metal crafting. Crafts.
I think that should do it. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so that is our smelter. And it needs architecture. Okay. And then the other device that we wanted to create was the... Metalsmith's Forge. Yep. Alright, so we'll place down a Metalsmith's Forge with our anvil and the marble. There we go. Alright. Very good. So hopefully all that comes together relatively soon. Alright. What else? What else? So the dwarves are digging the storage downstairs. That's good. Then we have one last area for them to hollow out before we start working on... Well, I suppose we could work on bedrooms real quick. Where are we going to put that stuff? Uh, in the next Let's Play, we'll have our dwarves go ahead and uh, put together some living areas. Okay? We could go ahead, actually, and do that right here. Uh, why not? Why not? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So I like to give our dwarves pretty large quarters. I'm thinking uh, three by three sized rooms are very nice and large. And we have a fair number of couples as well. So we can uh, go ahead and move them all into the rooms together. I've seen some Let's Players give their dwarves, like, incredibly tiny rooms, and I was like, how could a dwarf live in that? I've seen a two-by-one two room before, uh, a room that looks like this, basically. That's a room. That's a room. And I'm like, that's so tiny. You can't add anything in there. You can't give them a chest. Uh, it's just a bed, basically. Alright, so that looks good. We can actually have our dwarves go ahead and work on that right now. And why not? We'll put a room there, and if we need to tunnel back, we'll just uh, get rid of the whole room and tunnel back that way even farther if we need to. And let's have them just do one wing for now, and that should be good enough. Alright, so they'll have pretty close living quarters up here. That'll be good. And then maybe later we can designate uh, just the crafts dwarfs. Uh, to live up here, or maybe just the barracks rooms for the military, even, while we move the rest of the population down below. Looking good. Looking very good. You can see the dwarves are moving stone down here. That's good. Some stone, not all of it. Let's see. Storing items. Yeah, all of our dwarves should be rather busy right now moving items to and f uh, from one place to another. Alright, so smelter needs architecture, okay. But the metalsmith's forge is completed. Ooh, very nice.
And I'm wondering what kind of uh, materials we have here. We have a lot of rough gems, a lot of stones, plenty of logs, bins and barrels, mechanisms, plenty of mechanisms. We have uh, mahogany wheelbarrows and uh, two maple wheelbarrows, a birch and wheelbarrow as well. Some bracelets, a crown, an oaken crown, a chestnut crown, and an ashen crown. So those are some of those, uh, uh, an alder scepter, a maple amulet. Those are some of those uh, wooden crafts that our dwarf just made. Yeah, we're gonna need a someone to keep tabs on all this stuff here. Uh, let's see here. What we'll do is we'll set up the bookkeeper as Travis for now. I know he's gonna need some items manufactured for him. Uh, what do you require? You need a meager office, okay. Pretty much a meager office for everything. Okay. No problem. We'll get a meager office set up. Uh, what we're going to need is a table and a throne. And we have beds. Should probably go ahead and construct some additional beds. Uh, we can go ahead and create. What are they called here? A coffer? Yeah, we'll create some coffers. In fact, let's create several. Coffers, shall we? Coffers are H. Coffers for the rest of the dwarves, along with some more beds, two additional beds. That'll be good. You know what? Over here, let's go ahead and mine this out. Over here we will create uh, an overflow room for the dwarves. So yes, this will be overflow. It doesn't really need to be that big, does it? Here. We'll have two overflow rooms for all the dwarves. Uh, that way, <clears throat> when we get additional migrants, there'll be rooms just for beds. Those would be our dormitories over there. Okay. And our woodcutter is not very busy right now. You know what? Set myself up for masonry just to keep us busy here. Should probably set up, and it looks like these animals are starting to eat their eat their fill here already. There, so we'll give them a larger pasture. What is wrong with this thing? Oh, you know what? I think they're doing it. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what was going on. Okay. The bull, the, the male water buffalo and the female cow were just having some umpity ump. Okay, so they're probably gonna have a baby. I was wondering what was going on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, cool, cool. That's good. That's good. 
some umpity ump. All right. Okay, this is done down here. That's good. Let's go ahead and set up our stockpile here. Uh, that will be for... Let's see here. This is going to be metal. So I think that would fit under... We'll do custom setting for now. So let's go ahead and put that down. Alright, and then let's give it a custom setting here. We'll enable bar and blocks, and we also want stone. But let's go ahead and keep it to metal ores. And marble, bituminous coal if we ever find any. And what else is there? What else is there? No, not wood. We want uh, charcoal. I forgot where we put charcoal at. Oh well, so let's go ahead and disable that for now. All right, so that should be good. And let's check this one, because this one should have charcoal. Okay, so that's gonna go uh, bars and other materials. Interesting, okay. All right, yes, so we are making charcoal, that's good. Let's see if he actually stores the charcoal, though. And this final room that we're gonna be digging out is gonna be, um, for now, a brewery and a kitchen. So we can actually go ahead and do that right now. So they get to work on the brewery and kitchen. And let's go ahead and place a bed down. Alright. And is he making all that? Yes he is. Good. So we'll have him pump out some doors soon as well. All right, guys, well, the fortress is progressing nicely. We're getting some of our industry up, which is very good. You can see over here we have a smelter already created as well, which is good. All right, so we can have them go ahead and smelt sphalerite. Very good. We'll have them start smelting us up some sphalerite. We'll get some zinc ingots, and we'll start creating some crafts out of the zinc ingots. It'll be really good. Okay, guys, well, until the next Let's Play, uh, take care and happy gaming.